and welcome back to another unboxing video. This is going to be kind of a weird unboxing because we're unboxing a few fish. I'm going to show you some really, really cool fish that have been in the shop for a while that keep missing out on the unboxing videos, if that even makes sense. And we are going to upgrade the shop. So let's turn Mr. Camera, camera, camera around. Ooh, ah, that was magical. This is my aquarium shop. I've had it for about 20 years, a little bit longer. So all the tanks are super, super old. But recently I have started upgrading. So I'm about to redo all these tanks on the back wall. We have lots and lots of tanks in the shop. These are going to be plumbed to a system, so I'm going to have separate systems with separate different water qualities and stuff. All drilled on little sumps with UV and wonderful stuff. So I've just started redoing the whole bottom row. I've got lots of other tanks to go. If you're interested in that, subscribe and all that wonderful stuff and you'll see more of that later in the other videos. I do have some free tanks available if you're local. So if you want like a two foot tank or a two by two, I have a few of them available as well. And they are currently way down there in a giant pile. So see this on social media, just comment or something like that or message me and we can work that out. Otherwise, let's jump to some fish unboxing. And yes, I am outside. And yes, this is weird, but there are too many people in the shop to film. So I am outside with some royal whiptail catfish that are locally bred. How lovely are these? So we have a few of these available as well. They are $36 each. Be quick if you want some super cool for your tropical tanks. Now we're going back inside to the unboxing. And we have massive fish disappointment. We only have... I think three different species of fish out of all the fish we ordered because everything was out of stock. Hurrah! So we'll get to that in a second, but we did get the ocean free brine shrimp eggs. Ocean free brine shrimp eggs? Ocean free brine shrimp missing the outer shell eggs. <laughs> They're all back in stock. They are $22.95 a box. So lots and lots of them on the website and in shop. Brilliant if you want to feed baby fish and nano fish. But the boxes, there are two boxes. There are three species of fish. This is going to be super quick, but I am going to show you some awesome fish in the shop as well. We have lots of zebradinios. So I think there's like over 100 zebradinios. Zebradinios, zebradinios, zebradinios. How fast was that? Let's go to box number two. <laughs> oh, it's just ridiculous. It's, yay, watch me as I film two boxes of fish. <laughs> we have, what is in here? We have goldfish, so gold comets. So that is the second species out of the third species. Oh, it's, it's so much fun. What is in there? Oh, that's that's unfortunate. We did order Cardinal Tetras, but we have Neon Tetras. What's it say on the bag? It says three centimeter Cardinal Tetra, but we have one centimeter Neon Tetras. <laughs> oh, this is the best unboxing there ever has been. Oh, second bag is also Neon Tetras. <laughs> These are even smaller. Wow, we already have nice Neon Tetras in stock. So that was a little bit of a fail. What I might do next week or the week after is try a new wholesaler <laughs> that we haven't dealt with before and see what they have in stock. Let's go and look at some awesome fish that we actually do have in stock. <laughs> and because there wasn't many fish in this video, what I'm gonna do now is go through a few of the tanks. A lot of these fish sort of get missed out in the videos because we're only unboxing and we're not going through what local fish either I've bred or other people have brought in. So this tank here, we have an absolute heap of gold dust geophagus. So these are these little tiny ones in here. They go for around about $25 or so. They are awesome, awesome fish. So they're from South America. They're called gold dust geophagus because they get a really nice gold misting to them. A few other colors to them. Super peaceful. They get around 25 centimeters max. So that's how big my adults are. And I've had them a few years. Really, really nice. So if you want something slightly bigger that goes with bigger tetras, like Buenos Aires size tetras, so that's that big. <laughs> they go really, really well. You wouldn't keep them with things like neons because they're just big enough to swallow an adult neon. Fine with angelfish and stuff like that. And talking about angelfish, in the same tank, we have some black angels. So these were bred by Kirk from Kirk's Aquariums. So if you haven't seen his channel, go check that out. So we've got a few blacks left. These are sub adult to adult size. Obviously they will get a lot bigger than that. They get like hand size, so about double the size. And there are some of the really nice red cross ones as well. Now I think also if I put some food in this tank, and let's chuck a couple of little wafers in there. Now the stuff I'm feeding these guys is that stuff there, which is your what's it, Ocean Nutrition Tropical Wafers. A lot of people ask me what the wafers are. Um, I do sell them, they're on the online store. Hopefully, 
with all the wafers in here, we might see what else is in this tank. There's a few marbled ghost knife fish. And the difference between the black ghost knife fish and the marbled one is just obviously the marbling or the pattern to them. So they don't really want to come out. There's one lingering in between those two pipes there. And there's one in that pipe there. But anyway, hopefully they'll come out. If they do come out, oh, there's one, there's one. If they do come out, I'm gonna stick them on the screen. So Black Coast Knife Fish will get around 45, 50 centimeters, sometimes a little bit bigger, but usually in captivity, they don't get much bigger than that. Takes a long, long time for them to grow. Very cool fish, go by electricity in the water. They again will get quite big. They've got a big mouth to them. They're not gonna eat many fish, but they're gonna sort of suck up little neon tetris and stuff like that that sleep at night because these guys are mostly nocturnal. Oh, that is cheating. He is right in the log and the wafer is going towards the log. We'll come back to that tank. So that is one out of many tanks. We will jump to another one. Tank. These are slightly bigger nippy fish. Oh, the sorry. stripy one on screen is a banded Leperonis. We also have some spotted Leperonis. I think they have another name is Lipstick Leperonis or something weird like that. Very nippy fish. They're from South America. There's some convicts from Central America. Everyone should know what a convict cichlid is. This is sort of the aggressive tank. Not really one of the aggressive tanks, I should say. So banded Leperonis are really, really hard to keep with other fish. This one's probably around 15 centimeters or so. They will max out at about 30 centimeters. Super aggressive. I wouldn't even keep them with my big Central and South American cichlids at home because all they do is nip, nip, nip at slower moving fish. So if you have a big group of them together, you're generally okay. The little silver ones in this tank are striped silver dollars. So if you just sort of notice the striping pattern to them, very, very cool South American fish as well. If you keep schooling fish with aggressive fish, it breaks out the aggression quite well. And I think way at the back there, there is a black belt cichlid. So again, Central American, get very big, very awesome fish. How cool are the Leperonis though? So I think there is a couple, well obviously there's a couple, there's a little one right there and a slightly bigger one. But again, yeah, only for tanks that you've got very aggressive fish or nothing that's slow moving like an Oscar, that they tend to just nip at them over time. So that is that tank, let's jump to the next. In this tank, I've got some really nice platinum angelfish around that sort of 10 to 20 cent piece size. Really cool fish. So they will stay that color. They get huge about the size of a hand so <laughs> however big your hand is, these will probably get about that size, unless you're a giant. So hello to any giants watching this. <laughs> On to the next tank. We have some really, really nice ranchus. Ranchus are a type of goldfish. They don't have the dorsal fin, which just makes them look weird. Let's zoom in. Look at them. <laughs> they are strange. So they're like a little torpedo with a tiny little double tail that makes them wiggle. So you don't really want to mix these with your normal goldfish because they are a lot slower to get into the food, obviously. So if you mix them with normal goldfish, they're just going to miss out all the time. And obviously they're going to just not go well. There's also some really nice golden white cloud mountain minnows. These are another cold water minnow. They're from China, same as the goldfish. Work perfectly with smaller goldfish, but because they only stay small, like maximum size is probably about three centimeters, three and a half centimeters you can't really keep them with your bigger goldfish. And all goldfish are gonna to get to that 10, 10 inches, so which is what, oh, 20 centimeters plus. So yeah, they can get quite big. How cool are they? And there's a heap of fish in this tank as well. So we have some Texas cichlids bred by me. Yay, Texas cichlids. I have lots and lots of Texas at the moment and some really nice local bred red sword tails. Those are actually red wagtail sword tails because they got the black on the tail. And we have some local bristlenose. So this is pretty much the local bred tank at the moment. Lovely fish, community fish. The Texas will get quite big. So eventually they're gonna get big enough to eat a sword tail. Max out at around that sort of 30 centimeters or so. Your sword tails are community. Same with the bristlenose, which is your little sucker fish hovering at the bottom. If you can even see them there, he is fighting for his wafer. Get the wafer, get the wafer. He'll get the wafer. We'll feed them a little bit later as well. And you may ask yourself why I keep saying everything is really, really nice. It's simply because they are really, really nice. So these are a dwarf cichlid. They're from Africa. So these are called kilbensis. 
lots of females in here these were bred by amy so again local bred get a little bit bigger than the size of a ram cichlid and if you don't know how big that is around about that five to six centimeters super peaceful unless they're breeding so if you have a pair of them they are going to chase a lot of the fish around if you've only got like one or two girls or just one on its own they're not super aggressive you can even keep them with things like guppies and neons but they are really colorful if you want an individual fish that's not going to grow huge how lovely see they're lovely 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 and in this tank we have some neon serpe tetris they are gorgeous little tetris so they're the bright red ones can be a little bit nippy so you don't want to keep them with things like guppies of long flowing fins and we've also got some really nice orange venezuelan corridoris so these turned up a lot darker than the normal ones we usually have very cool I don't know if it's just a genetic thing or what it is but usually they're not this dark when we get them in and these have sort of stayed dark for the last week or two so i only got a few left probably about a dozen or so so be quick if you're seeing this video and you can get some of these guys but they are super peaceful south american corridoris so just a nice little catfish to rummage around the bottom and ironically more texas cichlids in here as well and in this tank we have some fire mouth cichlids so they're the one with a little black dot on them. They will get quite big. They'll get around that 20 centimeter size. Being a Central American cichlid, they are pretty aggressive, but you can keep them with slightly bigger barbs, bigger tetras like these emperor tetras from South America. And the emperor tetras will get a really pretty color to them. You can just start to see it on some of the males on the screen at the moment. A lovely South American tetra, a little bit bigger than your neons and that. So they grow about maybe three times the size of a neon tetra, big enough to hold their own with slightly bigger cichlids like these fire mouths. They are lovely fish. I know, lovely, lovely. And in the tank next door to the fire mouths, we have these guys. So these used to be called Eliotti. They are a pastel fire mouth. So they've got a really nice blue speckling to them. Gorgeous fish as they get bigger. These are actually bred by me, yay! So we have them cheaper than what we usually have them because obviously I can breed them, so they're cheaper. If you don't know what these look like, there is a photo of an adult male on the screen gorgeous fish it's got i think about 30 of these available at the moment going for about 12 dollars each so be quick if you want some of these and they're central american again so they're not going to get overly huge again around that sort of 15 centimeters max not overly big and this is an awkward angle and they are behind the filter but we just have some fancy catfish in here so we have some leopard frog plecos if you can see right there on the filter i've stirred the whole tank up so that is a leopard frog pleco, so an L134, super cool fish, look at that. These are local bred, and there's a few albino 66s left as well. So LO66 is a loricade number, if you don't know what that means, it's just a fancy way of saying it's a fancy catfish. So they are a sucker fish, but they don't really eat algae, they're more of a high protein eater. How cool is that fish? These are pretty expensive compared to your normal brissonos and that that are under $10. These guys jump to about $140 each at that size. And that's only about three and a half, four centimeters. On to some more fish. There's way too many fish to show you in one video. Look at the blue-eyed lemon bristlenose. They are so nice. I do have quite a few of these at home. These ones are obviously for sale there in the shop. Just a lovely sucker fish. Don't get very big, so they get a little bit smaller than a normal bristle nose does. So these are slightly different subspecies. They're all there munching away behind their log. Yes, what can you say? They're lemon, they have blue eyes, they are adorable. Everyone should have one in their tank. How nice are they? South American fish, slightly below 7 pH. Look at them. And congratulations for surviving that hot since so surviving surviving that whole video <laughs> wow yes it'll get to the point where i can't even talk and it'll be hi this is paul Bell, Paul, Bell, Paul, Bell, Paul, Bell, Paul Bell, anyway if you would like to see more unboxing videos click that that is the link to the unboxing videos subscribe if you want to subscribe that would be wonderful if you want to see more of my pet ants <laughs> i know there is a video on my pet ants thank you very much for watching we will see you in the next video bye